Hi, I'm Lonnie Stanley with Stanley Jigs. You know, my most productive way to catch fish for 30 years now has been a Stanley Jig. All different kinds of jigs. It's my favorite way to fish. I catch more big fish on a jig than any bait that, that we build. You know, if you break it down, it's about four different kinds of jigs that, uh, that we build. You got the swim jig, you got a flipping jig, you got a football jig, and you got a finesse jig. That's the four main categories of jigs that's out. You know, when you talk about flipping a lot, most people are thinking about the heavy covers, you know, like buck bushes and willow trees, a lot of cover, lay down logs and stuff. Is most of the places I like to flip, but I also use the kind of way this one's designed is flipping it in the grass. You can flip it in the high coontail, the lily pads, and stuff like that. But I probably use a flipping jig 65 70 percent of the time on them because of the big hook, and it is a more Versatile jig. This can be used as a flipping jig. It can be also used as a grass jig, so you're covering two with one bait. I like to fish the swim axe jig, and especially in heavy cover, over the grass, over the moss, over the lily pads. The head is designed to push over and through the grass. You can see it's real sharp pointed. And I like to throw it in heavy cover and just kind of lope it along right under the surface. Sometimes I like to fish it deep, but mostly I like to fish it over a heavy cover. A lot of the same places I fish a ribbit frog, I fish a swim jig. You know, you can see it by the design of it, it looks like a little football jig with eyes. This is our bug-eyed football jig. And where I like to throw this is in the, off of shelves, uh, you know, off of humps, off the sandy. More of a, uh, not so much cover, it's not a, it's not made for grass, and it's not, you can, you can tell it's, it stands up like this on the bottom. So you cover rocky places, you know, fishing it off of rocky points or sandy humps and stuff on it. Maybe a little bit of limitation of grass, but not a lot. But this is where I, you can cover a lot of water with this because, you know, it's three eighths all the way up to a one ounce. And uh, I like to fish it in more open water. I like to fish points and, and you know, drop offs on creek channels and stuff like that. And uh, like I say, it's more of an open water jig to me. You know, when the water's real clear and I'm using a light line, like 10 to 12 pound test line on light tackle, I'll go to the finesse jig for a couple of reasons. It's got a smaller hook for easier uh, penetration. I put a, usually put a little crawl worm or a little worm on the back of it like that, and it's cut off like that. It just silhouettes a smaller jig. It's a finesse jig. When the fish won't bite a big jig and they don't want to bite a big worm, you can come back and use a little finesse jig like that, especially under boat docks. And because it has got a weed guard, it's, it's not a real good grass jig, but it's real good around boat docks. And uh, and, and just a, uh, when you need a limit of fish, when you need to catch them, they'll bite the little finesse jig.